Hey, my algebra kids. I thought it'd be good to make a video to have you practice the laws of exponents. So actually, no homework tonight. Might want to practice this a couple times. You also might want to do your squares and cubes in case we have a pop quiz tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. Now, if you want to see something sad, this is all I've got left to snack on. One little thing, a little Debbie Donuts. I don't... And someone already ate one. Oh, no. I only have six left. Oh, how will I make it if we don't have school for four or five days? I don't know. Oh, actually, I ate that one. Oh, it was good, too. Now, um, if we don't have school a couple more days, assume there's a video and assume there's a homework assignment. But anyways, I just want you to practice. So just say out loud what the answer is. You're multiplying two things, same back base. X is 6 times X is the 4th. X to the 10th. Okay, what's that one, kitties? That's right, X to the 14th. Good job. What's that one? X is 6 times X. X to the 7th. I hope you're getting it. Next one. Oops. When you multiply two things, same base, you add. Yes, that's X to the 24th. I love it. Here we go. X to 15 times X to 25th. X to the 40th. Good. Here, give me just a second here to switch my... There we go. So what's X to the 60th? Oh, <laughs> well, guess what the answer is. That's right. X to the 60th. When you raise to a power, take a base, raise the bar, then raise the whole thing to another power, you multiply. So what's X to the 4th to the 11th? That's right, x to the 44. What is x? Oh, no, no x. Now, you have three negatives multiplied together. That would be a negative, and then one cubed is one. One to any power is one. So it's negative one. Oh, even power. So six negatives would be a positive, because every two is positive. So you go negative, negative, that's a positive, that's gone. Negative, negative, that's a positive, that's gone. Negative, negative, that's a positive, so that's gone. So it'd be positive one. Now the next one is your tricky one. Most people get this one wrong. It's not in parentheses. So it's one to the eighth power, which is one. Eight ones multiplied together is one. Then take the opposite, so it's negative one. Tricky problem. If I were you, I'd look at this a couple times. That's the one most people get wrong. But it's not in parentheses, so it's not this. This is negative 1 to the 6th. This is 1 to the 8th. Take the opposite. Okay, let's do the next line. Let me uh, move my papers here. Okay. Well, I got a mess. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let me move this down a little bit. Okay. What is x to the 6th, y to the 10th, oh, it's all messed up. Oh, mercy. There we go. When you have a product to a power, you raise both to that power. So this would be, go ahead, what is it? I cannot hear you. Speak up. If you get it right, I'll let you eat one of these donuts. If you're at my house in one minute, and if you are at my house in one minute, I will call the police. But it's worth a donut, isn't it? So it'd be x to the 18th, y to the 30th. Because when you take a base to a power raised to another power, you multiply. Oh, my goodness. Let's look at this one. So, x to the 4th to the 6th, what would that be? That's right, x to the 24th. Y, when the power is not shown, it's assumed to be 1. Y raised to the 6th power would be y to the 6th. Next one. Oh, my goodness, it's stuck. There we go. Uh, I raise both to the 10th power, so it'd be x to the 70th. Good. Y to the 30. You are so good at this. Now, what do you do? Oh, well, sorry, it's off the page. What do you do when you're multiplying things same base? We well, just negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. x to the 6 times x is 7. When you multiply two things same base, you add the powers. We did that up above. Y to the 8 times Y to the 10th would be Y to the 18th. 
And one more row to go. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, now we got several steps. You might have to stop the video and then write the problem down and do it. And that's good. I want you to practice. That's the idea. Not for me to do it. I could probably pay. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I just found a pen. Woohoo. So, uh, write it down. Stop the video. Do it. Write it down. Then turn me back on. Okay. So, it'd be x to the 18th when you take a base, raised power, raised power, you multiply. This is x to the forte. Because that looks like a 10. Yep, it's a 10. Now, when you multiply two things, same base, you add. So, it's x to the 58th. Now, again, for this problem, stop the video, write it down, and then do it, and then turn me back on. Okay, no power here, so we're just going to write that again. If you remember the order of operations, you must do powers first. So this would be x to the 110, because when you take a base, raise the power, raise the power, that's a horrible looking number. That's supposed to be 11. Then when you multiply things same base, 3 times 1 is 3 x to the 7th, x to the 10th multiplied together, x to the 117, 117, okay, oh, last one on the page, turn me off, write it down, do it, and then turn me back on, okay, so you got to square both terms, so 5 squared is 25, base to a power, raise it to another power, you multiply, Wash squared. There's one down to have a power show, so I did write it down. Now I multiply. 2 times 25 is 50. I'm going to have to cough here in a minute, so if I do, sorry. X cubed, X to 12. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> y squared, Y to the fourth. Shouldn't eat that donut. It's got coconut. So hopefully you got those right. So that's your homework. Now, you might want to do this again just for practice. See if you can get those answers. Then if we don't have school tomorrow, <gasps> don't say that out loud. But if we don't have school tomorrow, then I'll give you another video or two. Have a good day.